Home at last. Tonight, six puppies that lived through a fire at the Prince and Princess Puppy Boutique are bonding with their new families. 21 other puppies are not far behind. Fox 5's Lindsay Curtis was there when the owners met the pups for the first time. She's got some cute video. <laughs> yeah, very cute video. Look at that guy right there. It's been a long time coming for these so-called arson puppies, and now their new owners are eager, eager to put all of that drama in the past and start their new chapters with their precious puppies. There's no place like home, and CJ the Maltese puppy wasted no time making himself comfortable in his. Minutes after picking him up from the Animal Foundation, new owners Terry and Billy Satilli are overjoyed watching CJ come to life in the front yard. He was scared when we first picked him up. I could feel him shaking, but... Now he's over that. CJ and two dozen other puppies went through a lot to get to this point. Surviving the arson fire at the Prince and Princess Pet Boutique in January and enduring a legal battle over who would place them in new homes. My thoughts of how traumatized these poor dogs must have been, it just breaks my heart. It's that journey that inspired people like Trina Pescucci to buy raffle tickets for a chance at adopting one of the prized puppies. She's overcome with emotion, finally holding miniature poodle Aideen in her arms. You know, just to know that anybody would ever hurt an animal just breaks my heart. So, if anything, you know, that I could reach out and do something and give her a home that she deserved to have, I'm happy to be able to do that. This week, volunteers deemed Pascucci's home safe for Aideen and introduced her to her new puppy sister, Maddie. The dogs get along, so Aideen has the green light to go home, where she'll be called Audrey. She deserves to be spoiled. Soon, she and the other puppy survivors will be exploring their new digs, just like CJ. Yeah, he's going to fit in perfectly with us. He's trying to play and already sticking close to us. Now, volunteers will be doing more home checks for the rest of the puppy raffle winners through the week, and the goal is to have all 25 puppies placed by Monday. And again, anyone who didn't win a puppy in the raffle can use their receipt and go to the Animal Foundation and adopt any one of these other puppies that are there. Right now, there's about 300, and they're all just as cute as CJ and the other arson puppies. Mm -hmm. Those mixed breeds, uh, they will pay you back with interest <laughs> if you adopt them. I, I know so cute. You can vouch. You can too. Vouch. Yeah. <laughs> Love seeing that little cone around that cute yeah. face. Thank you, Lindsay. Two old